Hey, what's up, everybody? It's September 10th, 2024, line fire update coming from the Big Bear, California area. So just now, it looks like something was creeping into Green Valley Lake in terms of the fire, which means that it's definitely getting closer to us. Um, still, still quite a distance away, guys, but if, if the winds pick up the way that they're expecting it to today, then it could be a catastrophe. And there are fire trucks everywhere in town, and it's very, very nice to see that. It's very nice to see these guys and gals, these just amazing heroes, because that's what they are. They are absolute heroes. Um, but yeah, so for me, as soon it, as they give the evacuation order, I'm gone. I might might be leaving a little bit sooner. Um, we'll just see, but uh, no question, as soon as there's an evacuation order, I'm out of here. We're under that uh, just regular evacuation that is telling everyone to basically prepare and be ready at any time for when they give the main notice to get the hell out of here. So, um, yeah, that's what, that's what's going on. But we're driving through Moon Ridge right now. We're going to head up near Bear Mountain just to see what it's like there and then go up to the top and take a look down into the valley from up there and just see what it looks like. Here's beautiful golf course right there any of you golfers down there you should come give our nine hole course a shot it's uh it's, it's absolutely gorgeous yeah the air is just awful my lungs and my throat are already starting to feel it, which is why I'm probably going to end up leaving shortly after I upload this video. So I already sent my wife and our two dogs down to Los Angeles yesterday, just so I don't have to worry about her and I can focus on what I need to focus on while I'm still here. Yeah, this is brutal. Again, it it just feels like end times, end of times. And for those of you who are tuning into this channel for the first time because of the fires and stuff, uh, yeah, usually I'm recording all of our snowstorms and stuff. Drive around the whole town pre, during, and after every single storm to document what's going on all over town. So when the tourists come up here they can at least see ahead of time what to expect because we rely on the tourists there's Bear Mountain right there so we're going to drive up alongside to the left over there to the highest point of this uh, road called Lassen and just take a look down into the valley see see what's cracking but yeah we're gosh let me see here should have that, that, that other app open. The Watch Duty app is a great app. I mean, fantastic information. So it's 26,510.4 acres, 5% containment. We are still in the evacuation warning level two which is areas of Big Bear from the dam all the way to Cactus Road. So that that covers basically the, the whole entire valley. So we're just one small step away from uh, being forced out of here. I hope anyone else in any of the paths of these fires Hope you guys are doing your best to stay safe. I feel really, really bad for everyone involved in these fires right now. It's just an awful situation. And today is supposed to be one of the worst days of the whole thing because of the heavy, heavy winds that are supposed to be prevalent.
thankfully here there's nothing there's no wind but look at that that's i mean that's that's the valley down there it's just smoke everywhere Yeah, this is Bear Mountain. This is one of the one of the ski runs here. That's the beginner run. Yeah, we're gonna <clears throat> head back down. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. This will probably be my last update, as I said, because I'm probably gonna make like a bird and get the flock out of here. That yeah, feels like a ghost town. <laughs> but we do have the National Guard coming into town today. And especially in Running Springs and those areas, Arrow Bear, because uh, of looters. They're also going to be helping with some of the prevention and stuff like that. So that's fantastic. But my main concern to have them up here is for all these innocent people who have left their homes so they can be protected from people who don't deserve to breathe. Can you guys imagine stealing from someone who abandons their whole life because they're terrified of losing their own life and then someone just comes in and steals from you? Yeah, that's just not, not gonna happen. And while I'm here, and while others are up here, we're gonna make sure that does not happen. Where I live, two of my three neighbors said they're not going anywhere. I've been trying to convince them that, you know, I mean, <laughs> life isn't worth it. Or your life, <laughs> your life is worth it. Sorry, my mind's in a million different places right now. Your life is worth it. You need to get the hell out of here when they tell us to, but they're gonna be hanging around. And uh, one of my neighbors is a military vet and uh, yeah, he'll protect all of us while we're gone. So that's great. still out here. Wow. I wonder if they're getting hazard pay for having to breathe this horrible air out here. Well, anyway, this is the other side of the golf course. That's a look up into the hills behind Bear Mountain. But where it's most nasty and most prevalent is down that direction over there towards towards the Big Bear Dam it's pretty amazing though early in the mornings you wake up and it's beautiful blue skies and you're like fire? what fire? there's no fire and then as the day goes on the winds just blow the smoke into the town and it's it's a terrible feeling Really terrible feeling. But yeah, this is, uh, we're on Moon Ridge Road. We need to pray for these zoo animals as well. I hope they have evacuated them at our new zoo. It's actually been here a few years now, but it's still a new zoo. 
For those of you who don't know, we are on Moon Ridge Road. This video is going to be a few extra minutes than they have been. They've all been around 10 minutes, not planned. They just all have ended up to be right around that time. We're just going to stop <coughs> in my spot that I really like that gives you a decent view, a 360 view. It's not far from here. And then we'll shut her down at that point. Awesome, awesome. Just got a message from a friend of mine whose older brother has been working for many, many years uh, doing fires the forestry people and uh, it says mandatory evacuations will be coming soon so all right Not for my part of Big Bear, but it'll be over by Boulder Bay and where the Big Bear Dam is initially. But if they if they get evacuated there, I'm 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 just gonna go anyway. The fire is still so far away though, which is just crazy. But it must be the winds are pretty nuts. It's the only thing I can think of. And then apparently tonight from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., they could possibly shut off all of our power, like even if we aren't evacuated. It's so stupid because all of us are using uh, like air purifiers and and some people for just need their their medical needs covered. Look at that. This is nasty, you guys. Oh my gosh. So that's the direction of the fire out there. And you can tell it's so much thicker over here. I'm just gonna jump out real quick and uh, do a quick little loop. I'm telling you, this is horrible. There's Snow Summit right there. But look at how nasty that looks. And where it just looks super thick, that's where the fire's coming from right there. Wow. Well, I'm gonna get this video uploaded, you guys. 
and get ready to bounce out of here. Yeah, this is no bueno. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Love you all. Peace out.